a calm and quiet drive home in Alamance County. Quite the difference from the wild scene that played out on these roads just hours before. At first, I didn't know the 18 wheeler was a part of the situation. I was like, look at this guy like in the way of all these cops. Kristen Ray was watching in shock as a tractor trailer led police on a chase. Law enforcement learned of the semi driving recklessly on I-40 East. State troopers tried to pull the truck over in Burlington, but the driver took off, sending law enforcement on a chase all across town. The semi speeding past cars on exit ramps, weaving through oncoming traffic, flying up side streets, even hitting two cars. Ray was stunned at what she witnessed. I mean, in the video, it doesn't look like he's going that fast, but I mean, he flew by there and then they said he made a left turn on the, the bypass. And I was like, how, without flipping that thing, how does that even work? Troopers say the tractor trailer got back on I-40 and crossed into Guilford County before crashing into a ditch in Whitsitt. Investigators say the driver jumped out and took off, but was arrested nearby. Highway Patrol says the man is 28-year-old Julian Parsons. They say the vehicle was an empty rental truck. Parsons now faces multiple charges, including DWI, reckless driving, and hit and run. It's a miracle no one was hurt. I'm not gonna lie, I also made a version of that video and I put the Smokey and the Bandit theme song over it. It was just, it was something to spice up on Friday. Parsons is in the Alamance County Jail with no bond. Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2.